conditions. It's important to know these things, okay guys? So, do me a favor, if you're not already subscribed, subscribe to my channel and thumbs this video up, because we need a thumbs up. I need you guys to get the, this video to 130 likes. It's very important. Let's go do it now, 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 now. Stop what you're doing and do it right now. Now, let's get into the video. The first thing that I like to do when I am going to try positions is get a boppy. These are important, okay? They're always important. I'm gonna be showing you guys a whole bunch of positions with the boppy and some without the boppy because a lot of people don't know the different type of positions that they can do and they feel limited to only one position. But as long as you have your latch down pack, then all these positions should be good for you. So, the first position that I'm going to be showing you guys is the number one position that you should always be doing. It's the football hold. So, let me show you guys how to football hold your baby. The first position is the football hold. The football hold I feel like is very essential and very important because in a football hold, you can see the child like this, you can see the child's on the side, and the child's from the other side, you can see the baby. And I feel like it's important to be able to see the baby, especially for new moms in the beginning, to properly latch and see the baby. The second position is the cross cradle, which I love the cross cradle because the cross cradle gives that baby tons of support and brings the baby towards you. Like you can do it like this, you can scoot your baby up. And doing this position is very simple. All you have to do is get your baby and then what you want to do is bring your baby sideways like so the baby this way and then what you want to do is just latch the baby on just like that and this position I really love it because you're able to also see the baby and it gives you tons of support just like that The next position is kind of my own position. I do this position basically because my daughter, she chokes up a lot. So I have the baby more so like a cross cradle, but I'm holding the baby upwards like so. <laughs> then I go ahead. And I latch her on. This position I feel like brings the milk flow downwards which for me it's kind of important because if i don't pump that day she'll most likely choke and i try to avoid choking so i make sure that it's going in a downwards motion and she's sitting up and this causes it that she won't choke and it has helped in tremendous ways The next position I'm going to do is a cradle. What I like to do is take this arm, preparing this arm first, I latch like this, and then I put my other arm and I cradle. And I make sure that the baby is not suffocating. But I really, really love this position because I can look at my baby and I can rock the baby. As you can see, here I am rocking the baby.
Okay, with this position, the laying down position, what you wanna do is take the baby's head and place it towards you. Put their hands down and push the baby's head towards you. Like so, and then position your boob in their mouth. And those are the different type of breastfeeding position, guys. So, if you guys would like to see more videos, please thumbs this video up and subscribe to my channel and press that post notification bell, guys. And if you're not already in my breastfeeding support group, please go down below, get into that. And if you're not a Patreon of mine, please go ahead click below and become a patreon okay it's exclusive content that only you can get so see you guys in another video bye